guys, have a look at that. Look at that. Just look at it. <laughs> it's huge. On the side of my head. I got bitten. I got bitten last night by, I think it was a spider. It has to have been a spider. It's absolutely, it's like, it. it's even hurting here, like around my face. I've got to go to a doctor. But before I do, we're going to go and do this trip to the thrift episode because we need to go and find some great stuff to sell on the eBay. It's what we do every single week. And regardless of this, I'm going to go and get that video done. So come along for the ride with me, guys. Hit the like button because I'm doing this for you. And uh, I'm gonna go and get this looked at later. Well, they say health is your number one priority, but right now it is all about these games in the thrift. Mario Kart on the Nintendo Wii, you can always bank on 40 for that. We've got uh, Wii Sports, Wii Sports Resort, $30 there. And then I did even find a third game here as well. We've got Skylanders on the Nintendo Wii for 30 bucks. I did need to put Mario Kart back on the shelf though, because unfortunately it was scratched. How about this, an LA Lakers Blake Griffin jersey. <laughs> Had a bit of a look over this one and unfortunately I did deem it to be a fake, so left that one behind. We've got some Lego here. Now I don't often find Lego in the thrift. $12 on it. It is boxed up as you can see here and there is some decent money for it on eBay. You can talk around $30, but upon looking into the box, I think there are a few pieces missing. So I ended up just leaving that one behind. Another good category to look into is the scientific calculators. This one here goes for about $20 on eBay, just searching up the model number. And I also found another one as well. This one was the Sharp, and this one was going for about $15 on eBay. So you could often find them go for a few more. I left these ones behind because they were a $6 purchase price, but do keep an eye on the category. And I've also found these as well, the Adidas NMD R1 women's running shoes. We've got the Star Wars edition here. I thought they might be worth quite a bit of money, but the asking price here in the op shop was $30. So thought that was a little bit much, but I put it to my Instagram audience to get their thoughts, and I'll let you know what they thought a little bit later. Got the Disturbed Friends card game here for $5 as well. I'll always pick these up. Goes for about $25 on eBay. And I found some really good tracksuit pants here as well. The Adidas brand will always hold up on eBay. Got a $5 purchase price, size medium. They should turn into about $30 in a relatively quick sell-through rate. So not too bad of a first run. The Adidas NMD R1 Star Wars Edition pair of women's running shoes. They were really cool. For $30 though, that was my deliberation. It was a really high cost for a single item of uh, of shoes and I don't typically spend more than about $10 to $15 generally speaking. So I put it up to you guys in the Instagram poll and you actually said to go ahead and pick them up. So I found that actually to be really interesting and it almost got me considering going back and picking them up. I'm going to sit on it for a little bit. I may go back and grab them. First item up in op shop run at number two, we've got a pair of RM Williams boots here, and then I had a look at the price. Are you kidding me? In all my time op shopping, I have never seen a pair of shoes priced so highly. Best of luck to this op shop. Hope they get the job done, but it certainly won't come from me. Um, the Nike Reacts there for 50, no thank you. And uh, some wild turkey jacket here that I thought was actually really nice. I, I really like the look of this. It was in light new condition. Um, probably a size extra large, I think, from memory, but it did have an $80 price tag on it as well. So I got out of that store pretty quick. Moved into another store and I found some pretty expensive price points again. $50 for a pair of G-Star jeans, but these ones were brand new with tags. So I put it up as an Instagram viewer poll question. And then I found these in another op shop. These are the Adidas Sambas. They are actually a really good pair of shoes. And what's even better about these ones, they're only $5. Like That's more like it. So I'm going to go ahead and pick these ones up. Should get my $60 for these. Another really good pair of footy boots here as well. You guys know how much I love my football boots. I'm always flipping these. We've got the Puma Kings, an $8 purchase price. They should turn into about $60 free postage, I dare say. And then a bit of nostalgia here. Who remembers Sale of the Century? And now, ladies and gentlemen, Glenn Ridge. Well, I found the board game here for $3, an absolute steal. It even had the manual, had all the cards, pretty much no missing pieces. And uh, it sells for about 60 bucks on eBay, but you do need to do your thorough checks, especially with the batteries. These here obviously being heavily corroded. So for that reason, I did have to put it back onto the shelf. Now, I've dove into the DVD section for a bit of a look here, and this shelf right here, you might think there's not a lot going on, but to the untrained eye, that would be the case. But I know my DVDs, and these ones here, Heart of Dixie, goes for some really, really good money on eBay. And not only that, but I found these three seasons, one, two, and three, in brand new condition. I should be able to get about $55 for these three DVDs. An unbelievable grab. 
pretty easy one, that one, the G-Star jeans. I was never going to be outlaying $50. I think you can find them in pre-owned condition between $5 to $15 and pretty much make the same amount of profit as you would selling them brand new. So best to keep the majority of your money in your pocket and look for them in pre-owned. I will quickly say for my 30% clubbers, stick around to the end of the video because I've just found an absolutely ripping purchase for $6. It's going to make a hell of a lot of money on eBay. Let's keep moving. Op shop run number three coming up. Um, hey guys, Editor Matt here. That $6 fine was actually the Heart of Dixie DVDs that I just showed you, but I found an even better item that I'm going to save for the end of the video, so hang around for that. Now, here's a brand of jeans that I rarely come across in the thrift, but I often like to pick it up when I do because it goes on to sell well on eBay. $20, though, was the issue here. Unfortunately, I did have to leave them behind, but a good brand to look out for when you're in the thrift next. Now, these ones here, $35 for a pair of running shoes. Unfortunately, that is just way too high. The best that I'll be able to sell these shoes for is about $50, so that completely cuts us out of the market as resellers. I've got this trolley here as well of shoes that had only just been priced up and it was out the back. They haven't even put it on the shelf yet. So that is an absolute goldmine opportunity for us as resellers. Having a bit of a dig here, I found one really good pair of shoes and it was the Sullivans, these ones right here, an $8 purchase price. Unbelievable stuff because these shoes do go on to sell for over $100 in pre-owned condition. So the XA Pro 3Ds Sullivan, definitely put that on your bolo list. Had a bit more of a dig around the shoe section in this store and I came across these as well. Some Cat um, or Caterpillar is the brand. Really good uh, workwear brand this one. I've often picked it up and it's sold well for me in the past. So $20, put a bit of confidence into that one. Happy to pick it up. Really nice women's workwear shoe here. Should be able to turn that one into about $75 I'm thinking. Now, these are the Vantage, the Under Armour Vantage men's running shoes. We've got a size US 11 and a half here. Have a look at the condition. Really good condition. Just a little bit of wear on the sole there, but look, $15. They should be able to turn into about $60 free postage, I dare say. So the shoes are slowly building here with three pairs, but I've got a fourth pair for you here as well. We've got the Adidas Continental 80s. These are an awesome pair of shoes with some really high comps on eBay. So $15 worth of a price point. I've got absolutely no concerns buying them at that. So good little round to finish off. Back home now, guys. Here's a look at the haul. We have the six pairs of shoes, the track pants, the Wii games, and the DVDs. There is one more item, which I'm about to go and show you that is the best item of the day, so do stick around for that. But look, I'm estimating about $60 free postage for these six pairs of shoes, so we're looking at about $360 worth of value there. The track pants, I think I can get about $25 for those. These two Wii games, $30 a piece, and then the Heart of Dixie, I think I can get $60. When you add all of that up, that's $500 worth of resale value on eBay right there out of what? Three, nine items. So really high ASP, which is exactly what I'm after with the whiteboard that I've got set up over here. Um, really cool picking today, but albeit quite a slim selection. To put it into some context as well, I should say that I spent $92 on all of those items. So 92 into 500, take some fees. We've made a couple of hundred dollars out in the thrift on what I would deem to be a pretty slow day. Now my 30% clubbers, you guys sticking around to the end, I know you're hanging out for this item that I've been able to find that I'm holding on for you guys. It ended up being a $35 purchase but the resale value is upwards of $200. I've got the mecca of DVDs. We've got McLeod's Daughters, the complete saga. I'm talking seasons one to eight, boxed up, in excellent condition, region four, thanks very much. If you have a look at the comps on eBay for this thing, there are plentiful amounts, anywhere between $150 to $200, and I've paid just the 35 and the thrift. If you're not doing DVDs, please consider it because I'm picking up a whole heap that is selling for some great money. And this one will be one of the better ones I've ever done. So thank you very much for being here, guys, and tuning in. Like I said, I do need to go and get this looked at because it has not improved throughout the day and uh, I really need to get onto that. So I'm going to leave you with that. I'll also leave you with this and uh, yeah, enjoy.